أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد The reason why Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam traveled from Medina to Karbala was because the first time Yazid succeeded his father, that is Muawiyah, he decided to make sure that everybody surrender under him or everyone pledge allegiance to him. But he knew deep within himself that Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam will never pledge allegiance to him. Due to this, he commanded the governor of Medina to either force Imam Hussein to pledge allegiance to him or he comes with the head of Imam Hussein to him in Damascus. When Imam Hussein was confronted by the governor of Medina about this incident, he told him that Someone like me will never pledge allegiance to Yazid. And for that matter, he had to leave from Medina to Mecca to find somewhere safe and also find a refuge in the house of Kaaba. That is the holy house in Islam. So when he was there, he stayed there for almost four months. And it got to a time that people were coming in to make Hajj. He left in Medina in 28th of Rajab. So when he got to Mecca, there was a time that people were coming to make Hajj. That was when it was getting closer to the month of Hajj. Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam discovered that some of the Hujaj were the army of Yazid. And he knew well that they have planned to come and kill him during the activities of the Hajj. And due to that, he decided to find another way and leave Medina and leave Mecca. Fortunately for him, the people of Kufa had written several letters inviting him to come and lead them, inviting him to come and give them the teachings of the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and to bring to an end the tyrannical rule that Muawiyah started and Yazid decided to continue. In order to make sure that Kufa was safe and the situation was favorable for him to go, he sent his cousin Muslim Bon Akil to go to Kufa to report back to him whether the place was suitable for him to come. After some time, Muslim Bon Akil sent a report back to Imam Hussein telling him that the place was cool and many people in Kufa had pledged allegiance to Imam Hussein. When Imam Hussein received this news, he decided to pack his things with his family and with his companions. He decided to leave Mecca to Kufa. So he decided to do the Hajj activities in a quick manner so that he could make sure that he traveled to Kufa. But unfortunately, some spies in Kufa had reported the presence of Muslim Bun Akil as a representative of Imam Hussein in Kufa. They've reported it to Yazid. And Yazid sent the governor of Basra in place of the governor of Kufa, so that when he gets there, he will come and make sure that every Shia that is there will be killed or will be put into prison. Imam Hussein didn't know that the people had had a new governor and they have even killed Muslim Bon Akil as a result of that. So on his way coming, he got to Karbala and unfortunately for him, the army of Yazid stopped him on the way that is at Karbala and prevented him from getting to uh, Kufa. So at this point, they detained him till on the 10th day and the tragedy of Karbala took place.